Bone density, Wikipedia article audio. Bone density, or bone mineral density, is the amount of bone mineral in bone tissue. The concept is of mass of mineral per volume of bone, although clinically it is measured by proxy according to optical density per square centimeter of bone surface upon imaging. Bone density measurement is used in clinical medicine as an indirect indicator of osteoporosis and fracture risk. It is measured by a procedure called densitometry, often performed in the radiology or nuclear medicine departments of hospitals or clinics. The measurement is painless and non-invasive and involves low radiation exposure. Measurements are most commonly made over the lumbar spine and over the upper part of the hip. The forearm may be scanned if the hip and lumbar spine are not accessible. There is a statistical association between poor bone density and higher probability of fracture. Fractures of the legs and pelvis due to falls are a significant public health problem, especially in elderly women, leading to much medical cost inability to live independently and even risk of death. Bone density measurements are used to screen people for osteoporosis risk and to identify those who might benefit from measures to improve bone strength. Testing Indications for testing Bone density tests are not necessary for people without risk factors for weak bones. Unnecessary testing is more likely to result in superfluous treatment rather than discovery of a true problem. The following are risk factors for low bone density and primary considerations for the need for a bone density test. Other considerations which related to risk of low bone density and the need for a test include smoking habits, drinking habits, the long-term use of corticosteroid drugs, and a vitamin D deficiency. For those people who do have bone density tests, two conditions which may be detected are osteoporosis and osteopenia. The usual response to either of these indications is consultation with a physician. Results are often reported in three terms. Overtesting and treatment. While there are many different types of BMD tests, all are non-invasive. Most tests differ according to which bones are measured to determine the BMD result. These tests include Terms DXA is currently the most widely used, but quantitative ultrasound has been described as a more cost-effective approach to measure bone density. The DXA test works by measuring a specific bone or bones, usually the spine, hip, and wrist. The density of these bones is then compared with an average index based on age, sex, and size. The resulting comparison is used to determine risk for fractures and the stage of osteoporosis in an individual. Average bone mineral density equals BMC W. Results are generally scored by two measures, the T-score and the Z-score. Scores indicate the amount one's bone mineral density varies from the mean. Negative scores indicate lower bone density, and positive scores indicate higher. Types of tests The T-score is the relevant measure when screening for osteoporosis. It is the bone mineral density at the site when compared to the young normal reference mean. It is a comparison of a patient's BMD to that of a healthy 30-year-old. The U.S. standard is to use data for a 30-year-old of the same sex and ethnicity, but the WHO recommends using data for a 30-year-old white female for everyone. Values for 30-year-olds are used in postmenopausal women and men over age 50 because they better predict risk of future fracture. The criteria of the World Health Organization are Interpretation The Z-score is the comparison to the age-matched normal and is usually used in cases of severe osteoporosis. 
This is the number of standard deviations a patient's BMD differs from the average BMD of their age, sex, and ethnicity. This value is used in premenopausal women, men under the age of 50, and in children. It is most useful when the score is less than two standard deviations below this normal. In this setting, it is helpful to scrutinize for coexisting illnesses or treatments that may contribute to osteoporosis such as glucocorticoid therapy, hyperparathyroidism, or alcoholism. T-score Use of BMD has several limitations. Z-score Limitations Females age 65 or older, males age 70 or older, people over age 50 with any of the following, previous bone fracture from minor trauma, rheumatoid arthritis, low body weight, a parent with a hip fracture. Dual energy X-ray absorptiometry, dual X-ray absorptiometry and laser, quantitative computed tomography, quantitative ultrasound, single photon absorptiometry, dual photon absorptiometry, digital X-ray radiogram metry, single energy X-ray absorptiometry. BMC equals bone mineral content equals G slash CM. W equals width at the scanned line. Normal is a T-score of 1.0 or higher. Osteopenia is defined as between 1.0 and 2.5. Osteoporosis is defined as 2.5 or lower, meaning a bone density that is 2.5 standard deviations below the mean of a 30-year-old man slash woman.